you balancing on that wire gate? You're very clever, Pup. You're very clever, Pup. But I've got to move this wire gate now. I'm going to be letting the yos out into this grazing platform. This area has not been grazed since April. Was that April? April, May, June, July. Yeah, it hasn't been grazed for about four or five months. So it's had a break. So it's long grass. You can see the dog in it. Well, the dog's now sitting in it. Now squished it down. But there's good stands of orchard grass or what do you call it? Uh, coxfoot. That's coxfoot. That's coxfoot. There's yarrow, hawkweeds, red clover, all kinds of things. So I'm going to let the sheep in here to do some grazing. I'll call them. They're in that direction up over the hill. So I'll call them once I get this gate taken down. The gate was across right here. Okay, now to move this. Okay, just check the fence line. All looks good. Come on, puppers. It's so deep, the grass. <laughs> oh, wow! Big, beautiful dung beetle. Now, there's a big, beautiful dung beetle that's been wounded. You see half of its wing, hard shell wing has disappeared. And it has the mites. You see the, oh, poor fella. Okay. You see the mites on its stomach and its back? Look at that, you're such a beautiful creature. Anyway, his wing has been damaged by a bird or something. But he's got, he or she, I don't know, not that clever with insects. But he has, uh, those mites are hugely important to, in eating worm larvae and fly larvae and fly eggs and worm eggs. Those, he's the taxi. Now you can see he's trying to fly, but poor fella can't because he's a bird probably, whoops, down he goes again. He's trying very hard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring him to some fresh manure and he will be happily released into some fresh manure. And that is what I'm gonna do. But look at that beautiful stand of bird's foot trefoil. All in this stand of grass that's been four months, four or five months left. I can't tell you how tickly this fella is climbing up over my fingers. Look at that, more bird's foot trefoil, buttercups, there's hawkweed. And as I walk through here, there's all kinds of insects besides a damaged dung beetle climbing and through here. Look at all the bird's foot trefoil. There's a big spider in there. Oh, come on, get back. There we go. Anyway, loads of bird's foot trefoil, a really good stand of it. And then there's all kinds of pollinators the wind is stopping it. You're such a big boy. I'll get you some, you're gonna try and fly again and you're just gonna fall down because you're a damaged wing. But I'm gonna bring you to some fresh dung. I'll bring you to some fresh sheep dung. Whoops. There we go. Because those mites, I wanna get those mites onto a fresh pile of manure because then they will be transported here we go. There's a lovely fresh bit of dung. Now, you go in there. Go on, mister. There we go. He's gonna dig down. Look at that, digging down. And look at the mites. Look at the activity of the mites. They are all new. They're heading into the dung and they're like, yay, our taxi got us to where we want to go. Now that is What's the important part, one of the important aspects of the dung beetle or those mites.
because they're gonna they're all active because they're like Wee we want to get in that manure look at that activity that is so excellent oh oh somebody else wants to get involved no look I want no I want the dung beetle to go in there and you can see all the uh, mites are leaving the dung beetle to get on the, to the, onto the dung and they're going to feast. So because this is an injured dung beetle, he's not going to go very far. He might have a nest in there, but all those mites will stay there and will get on another dung beetle when another dung beetle arrives on this pile of manure. No, leave the dung beetle. Leave the dung beetle and leave the manure. Good girl, Inca. Leave it. I know you love dung chasing dung beetles. We're going to leave that dung beetle because it's an injured one. And the mites are going to be doing what the mites need to do. So that is saving dung beetles one dung beetle at a time. Inca, leave them be. I know, you're trying to see if it's going to crawl out the other side. But it was so cool seeing the activity of all the dung beetle mites as soon as they hit the fresh manure. That was cool. I like that. Ah! They can't see me. I'm kneeling down near the dung. Hey girls, come on! Come on! Out of girls! Come on! Come on! Out of girls! Come on dogs. Come on, girls! This is the gap in the fence. I've picked a certain person up so they won't be affected. Come on, girls! Come on! All this lovely long grass. Oh, I'm so pleased with how bird's foot trefoil has taken off. Look at that. Beautiful patches of yellow. Come on, girls! girls. Come on. Yay, they're saying. Heads down. Look at that. Heads down munching. People say sheep don't like long grass. They're eating the tops of the grasses in here. Look at that. She's eating that, that kind of buttercup. She's eating buttercups and grass. Look at the, I don't know if it comes across on the film, but the disturbance of the insect life. Oh, they're loving this. You can see the grass comes up to their waistline, up to their bellies. Very happy sheep. And here, that's a crab apple tree. You can almost see they're going to go in there and start eating the crab apples that are dangling down -o within sheep reach. There we go, crab apples. And you can see the red, the, this hawthorn berry is beginning to turn red. So they'll have berries and apples and bird's foot trefoil and a whole series of different grasses and herbs and yarrow. So really good mixture of stuff. Yay. So I think, it's, I, think I have, the horses were the last in here. It could be like March even. March, April, May, June, July. Yeah, it's easily over four months since anything was grazing in here. And the biodiversity is magnificent. Isn't that right, Inka Dink? Are you a good girl? Look at all that bird's foot trefoil. I'm so thrilled with how it's taken off. Now, the puppy was at my feet and is gone. Oh, there's the puppy. What you doing there? 
What you doing? What you doing under the dandelions? Ooh, I caught ya. Okay, and you can hear the grasshoppers. Grasshoppers are in here singing. Oh, and there's purple clover over there, or red clover. I always call it purple, but I'm supposed to call it red. Never mind. Well, I think the yeas are going to be very happy here now. Yay! And they're chowing down on that crab apple tree. Excellent stuff. Look at the storm coming. Very dark clouds over there. Storm, sorry, it's just gonna be rain. It's not gonna be storm.